Okay, here we are. Hello, this is Tommy Lovett, back once again with more Fallout New Vegas. And here we are inside the Vicky and Vance Casino. Hey. Oh yeah, I was supposed to buy some from this guy, wasn't I? Hey, youngster. Still <clears throat> hanging about Prim, huh? Do you have anything for sale? Well, yes and no. My shop's got plenty of stock. Problem is, I ain't going into my shop until I know it's good and safe. Alright, I guess I can't go to the shop Later. right now. No matter. We got ourselves a nice rifle with plenty of ammo, so let's get going. I guess we need to clear out the bandits in the hotel. and Steve Hotel. but I managed to get rid of them. Some dynamite there. Okay, some money. Some bottle caps. Long fuse dynamite. Varmint rifle. Let us assemble. Hit with fire. Get down. You like that? Get down. Give me some healing. Once the money. Okay, there's the last one. Wasn't as slick and stylish as I was to hope, but we got rid of them. Aha! Had enough. Damn! Yeah, that should be the last. Go into the vending machine and get some soda. There is some healing items here. Stem back and then Radex. Hey there. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You must be that De Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. I hear you may have information on some cops that came through here with a guy in a checkered suit. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. 
You can tell me here or you can rot in here. Well, you look to be a trustworthy sort. Okay, I'll tell you what I know. I overheard them saying that they're on their way to Novak. If you want to follow them, I strongly suggest that you follow the road through Nipton. There are a lot of dangerous things out in the desert. And you won't have me with you to protect you, as I need to stay here and keep Prim safe. Alright. It would be so... Alright, I'll send you free. Oh, that's just marvelous. I'll take... Sure, run away. I don't... You don't look like you'd be much help. Then I'll defer to your superior appraisal. Alright, let's grab the purified water. Just watch my alcohol. Come on. Seriously, how many of you are there? I guess that's the last of them for real this time. Looks like there's a vending machine here. That's always nice. There might be more enemies up ahead. Still. I'm getting a little close to the cap of the carry weight. Right. Who's there? And that's good. Some pre war money. A suitcase. Back of cigarettes, sunset sarsaparilla. Alright. Where are the rest? Anybody there? And I'm out of ammo. Ooh. That like exploded. And we leveled up. Nice. Okay, we gotta put more points. Beach. I'm gonna put points into the lockpick. The last one I'm gonna put into guns. Yeah, let's do some repairs in order to give ourselves some more inventory space. Some pistols. Alright. Stem pack, that's good. Okay, let's keep going. 
There's an elevator here. Doctor's bag, that'll be useful. Some bottle caps and pre war money. And some medical stuff. That's handy. There's an enemy here. Not sure how he died. Alright. Licensed Steve Hotel. I think I might have cleared it out. At least as much as I'm willing to clear it out. And I believe we have a star bottle cap for the sarsaparilla here. Those are a pretty interesting little collectible. I'm not going to talk much about it though, until like the encounter happens. Well, yes, and problem is I ain't going. Okay, I guess we're not getting any shop from See him. You. All right. Let's look at the quest. Eh, yeah, screw it. I'll just move on with the main quest then. I'll find the shop eventually. Gently drop to. You know, let's just go along here and then just go to the road that way. I don't really want to hunt down every last bandit in. No, Prem. Yes, Prem. I don't want to go and hunt down every last bandit in Prem. So I'm just going to make my way on to the Novak. Let's switch to a long range weapon. There we go. If memory serves me right, there should be an encounter here. And there it is. There we go. Get going. Should be in close range now. Who's there? You like that? Oh. 
That is a lot of damage I'm taking. It's weird for some reason. I'll take the scrap electronics. I think we're gonna need that. Because I still want to build Eddie back at Prim. Get inside this little building. Cause I'm pretty sure there's more enemies in there. Let's save first. Water, that's good. There we go, just a pistol. There shouldn't be anything left aside from bugs. Okay. Here if I have water. Randway might be useful. Is there anything I can do with the reloading bench? These help with wound, with crippled wounds. You can actually just walk over these guys. Silence pistol. pretty much set now. Let's keep going on the path. Just gotta keep following the road to Nifton or whatever. took this path before, which is weird since I don't recall there ever being a path. At least these ants don't breathe fire. Alright, let's get going. More ants up ahead. A dead rat scorpion. And 
pretty sure there's some enemies here. Nipton Road pit stop. Yeah, there's a whole lot of enemies. Maybe I used a grenade launcher. Ah, ah, oh, shit. There's one. Oh no, the road looks awful now. Got a cowboy repeater. May as well pick it up. I think that's all of them dead. Potato. Yeah, I think they nerfed the food healing you get in this game. Now just does it over time instead of just a set value. Which means so does aren't nearly as helpful as they are in Fallout 3. But I'm still gonna collect them anyways. Bottle caps, bottle caps. Stem pack, nice. There's some ammo here, or whatever, a grenade box. I'll be taking those. They'll be worth a pretty penny at least. Alright, let's get moving then. Let's heal ourselves up with the new cola. Here are some gunshots. Did you see that? That crazy bitch just attacked me out of nowhere. Any idea why? No, none at all. We've been traveling together since I picked her up a few days ago. And she's been friendly this whole time. We'd actually been flirting a little when she suddenly pulled a gun out and began yelling at me to hand my caps over. Now that I think of it though, she laughed when I threw her my money. I think what she really wanted was my Lucky Charm necklace. Lucky Charm necklace? Yeah, every once in a while you can find a cap with a blue star on it. They're pretty rare, so I started collecting them. And once I had enough, I made a necklace out of them, since I thought they were lucky. All sorts of nasty people are looking for caps like those. You'd be safer if you got rid of them. Really? I had no idea. And here I've been carrying them all this time, never knowing how dangerous they were. What do you think I should do with them? Bury them or something? I can hold on to them for you. I'm not worried about the people that are looking for them. They're all yours. I sincerely hope they work better for you than they did for me. We got ourselves seven sarsaparilla star caps out of that encounter. So yeah, basically there's like a big prize or something you're supposed to get when you collect enough star cap sarsaparilla caps. And that's why people are killing each other for them. Oh, look at this character. Smell that air! Couldn't you just drink it like booze? <laughs> I swear, there are certainly a possibility of Persona voice actors being in this game, because that sounds exactly like Yosuke from Persona 4. And the guy before that just sounds like Akihiko. I can't be crazy. There's just at least one person in that game that sounds like that. Anyways, are you feeling alright? Are you kidding me? 
Never felt better. Yeah. What sort of lottery did you win? What lottery? The lottery. That's what lottery. Are you stupid? The only lottery that matters. Oh, oh my God! Smell that air. <laughs> I need to get going. Bye. And take a good look at this scene. Because this is the introduction to the Caesar's Legion. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton. To memorize every detail. And then, when you move on... I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here. Especially any NCR troops you run across. What lessons did you teach here? Where to begin? That they are weak and we are strong? This much was known already. But the depths of their moral sickness, their dissolution? Nipton serves as the perfect object lesson. Yeah, I've heard enough. I think your eyes will see more than I could ever tell you. Take your time. Enjoy the sights. Normally I would try and kill these guys for... I guess, goody two-shoes reasons, but I don't want to have to have any assassins tracking me down on a casual playthrough like this. So I'm not going to try and kill any of the people there, but basically, they took a whole town it was down the powder gangers and stuff apparently. <laughs> Ugh, whatever. Anyways, let's keep moving. We're not gonna find anything here. There is like one survivor you meet in this. Varmint rifle. This will be handy. Because if instinct proves correct, we are about to engage in a long range combat here. I think the closest town that actually sells this stuff is going to be... Oh yes, there's mines here. Good for selling and also dangerous. Sarsaparilla case. More Hydra. Ammo. Okay, there's another bomb here. Or mine. This might be a good time to use the stealth for. Yeah, a good time to use it. Usually there's bandits sneaking about here. Ooh, we can encounter this one easy. Headshot. Bottle caps, grenade launcher, some grenades. Let's use it on this. Or we could just use the cowboy repeater. Yeah, something like that. I may have compromised my stealth by shooting that guy. Okay, it's back to hidden. Alright. Let's lock and load. And I think that's the end of it. Alright. We should be close to Nipton. No, not Nipton. Novak. I think Nipton was the place that got raided by the Caesar's Legion. It's going to be a whole long ways of walking before we reach it. <laughs> I'm definitely thinking of doing a Let's Play, aside from the long stuff I've been doing. Like, there are some short games I want to play on the channel, just for the sake of variety. 
I wanted to play Toho Subterranean Animism, but I can't quite get the English patch to work how I hope, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it. I mean, worst case scenario, I'll just be playing it. Oh, the merchants. Nice. Let's go. Bye. Hey there. Need anything? Yes, I'd like to see your wares. Sure. Here's what I got. I have a bunch of cents. See our money. There we go. Huh. I could use some pulse grenades in the event we need them. Against robots. Let's see, is there anything else I can get? A stem pack, that's good. Ammo, that's always handy. Sell our grenades and frag mines. Let's grab the ammo here. Twelve gauge pulse slug. I mean, screw it. We're already getting pulse ammo for pretty much. grab as much ammo as we can. There we go. We basically cleaned them out and got ourselves a lot of caps. And also reduced our carry weight at the same time. Nice. Let us save here. Uh, so yeah. I suppose there's all alternatives to playing subterranean animism. There's like Toho Double Dealing Character, which is my favorite in the series when it comes to character designs. I could easily play that. Okay, am I following the right path? Local map? No, world map? Yeah, this is the right way. Not sure where I'm seeing all the... Oh look, it's Caesar's Legion fighting a bunch of people. Yeah, I'm gonna stay out of it. I don't want to deal with any problems that come from random encounters. Just gotta follow the road until we get to a point. I've also been thinking about maybe playing some RPG Maker games. I have a few of the RPG Maker engines, like 2003, VX Ace, MV, back when I was still into game development. The part of me still kind of wants to make games, it's just I know it's going to be very difficult. Maybe I should start playing some RPG Maker games, you know, on the channel. Oh shit, is there someone after me? Yep. Shotgun time. Oh yeah. All right, you big metal asshole. Yeah, he brought a knife to a gunfight. Way to go! Ow! Bitch! I think the character I'm playing as is voiced by the same guy who sounds like Yosuke. Oh look, we leveled up again. All right. Pair 35. Speech I'm gonna raise up to about 60. Since it's serving me well so far. Guns I'm gonna put the rest into. Educated. Best to take this perk early on to maximize its effectiveness. Alright, I'll go for the educated perk. Scrap electronics. I'll pick that up in case I need it. Alright, where was I? Oh yes, RPG Maker. 
Truth be told, I love the RPG Maker engines, even though they're kind of the samey. It's it's kind of a nostalgia thing. Like back when I was very young, I used to have like torrents or something. Well, not torrents. I would just find ways to crack into the RPG Maker program so I could play with play with the engine, basically. I played pretty much five different engines. I played around with 2003, which is probably one of the, cool, the nicest ones, because it, well maybe not the nicest one, but it felt like it was pretty cool because it had a unique style or something to it. Then there's RPG Maker the XP that added in a coding language and then a nice frontal battlefield battle view. Then then there was the VX era. There was like VX and there were there was VX Ace which added a bunch of stuff. Current ver I don't know much about the current version, but I think it's M of Z. But the one I'm kinda happy with is M V because it has all the benefits of the previous engines, except it's in higher quality. Part of the reason I didn't want to really do anything with that engine, with the RPG Maker engines, is because it kind of got difficult and I didn't... Look, a doctor's place. We're at Novak. Huh, at least I managed to fill the boring space with some dialogue. Let's see if she has cup some stem packs uh, to what buy. What can I do for you? I need medical supplies. Yeah, and I need sterile medical supplies. But let's see what I have with me. Okay. Let's grab the doctor bags. Those are gonna be handy anyways. Let's grab this. Ooh. Let's just yeah, that'll do it. Except Let's get the purified water. I'm gonna sell the Raycor pistol. And there we go. Spent most of our caps. We got more Give medical me supplies. Else. I'm gonna get going. Bye. So yeah, this is Novak. You can see a big dinosaur there. And look who else we can see. I didn't bother introducing myself to him because I kind of wanted to rush through the Howdy, tutorial partner. stuff, but this is Victor. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. What are you doing in Novak? You said the men that jumped me were heading this way, right? No, don't believe I did. But you might ask around. The Novak folk usually see anyone traveling this way. I'll just... Okay, goodbye. Be seeing you. Let us go to the shop here. Because we do have to meet up with a person who probably knows a bit more. Let's sneaky, sneaky take. And let's take the red X2, why not? Ammunition box. We're not playing a pure good character, so we can pretty much steal whatever we want. Alright, let's go and see who's on the top of this dinosaur. Oh, look, it's Boone. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? Expecting visitors? Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? If you're looking for someone in particular, I could tip you off if I see them. Yeah, well, you see anybody wearing Legion Crimson or a lot of sports equipment, you just let me know. You still haven't answered my question. Let me meet new people. I think you better leave. You treat everyone around here like this? Wait. You just got into town. Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. Why is that? I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. 
That's a start. What do you want me to do? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come, what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. You're trying to track down your wife? My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. What do I do if I find this person? Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. I'll see what I can do to help you. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or the Legion will be after me next. How do you know your wife is dead? I know, alright. That's all you need to know. Okay, goodbye. Yeah. A rather grim character. Wife was sold into slavers. And I kind of have some meta-knowledge about who did it. So let's go and do this job. Hey there. Hey there. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna sneak on by. Bill of Sale. Bible caps, pre-war money. Let's talk to the person, because we have evidence now. Bill of sale. Purchased Janie May Carford of the township of Novak. Exclusive rights to ownership and sale of the slave Calia born for the sum of 1,000 bottle caps and those of her unborn child for the sum of 500 bottle caps. The receipt whereof is hereby acknowledged. We warrant the slave and her young to be sound, healthy, and slaves for life. We convert with said Manny May Clawford that we have full power to bargain and sell said slave and her offspring. Payment of an additional 500 bottle caps will be, put, be due spending maturation of the fetus. Claim shall claim to be claimed by the possession of the document. Blah blah blah. Point is, Janie May Crawford is the bitch who sold this pregnant woman to a bunch of slavers. So let's well, talk to her. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. Okay. Come with me. There's something you should see in front of the dinosaur. Okay, if that's what you think. Thankfully, we don't have to do any more convincing to get this done. Follow my lead, you bitch. All we have to do is lead her outside. Where is she? Son of a bitch, don't tell me you wandered off. Oh, you're just taking your sweet ass time. That's it. Ugh. Screw it. Okay, this looks like the place to do it. We just got put on the hat. Boom. Instantly dead. Let's go back and talk to him. And look, there's another encounter. Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Go on. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. 
You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. Why didn't you say anything there and then? I had to make sure of your disposition. There's a lot of jumpy folks out there that'll shoot a man as soon as talk to him. Now that we're conversing, though, I can tell you what I know about those caps. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. So you collect these caps too? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. Where can I find more of these? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and Blue Star caps are no exception. Thanks for the info, but I'll be going now. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. Okay, so that was the introduction to the star. Bottle cap stars quest. Let's go to Boom before he switches his shift. There he is. That's it then. How did you know? Found the bill of sale. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. What will you do after this? I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. Are you an outlaw now? No. People die out there. Often enough that no one worries about blame. They're too anxious to forget it happened in the first place, I guess. Besides, I was on break when it happened. Alright, we could get him as a follower. <coughs> I mean, we don't really like the Legion, but do we really want to make them an enemy? I'll just leave him here. Yeah. I'll, I can always come back and pick him up later. Oh, look, the shopkeep is up. Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. I'm looking for a man in a checkered coat. Have you seen anyone like that? Sure, but he didn't buy any souvenirs, if that's what you're wondering. Sounded like he didn't have his money with him. His friends seemed disappointed about it. Heck, I would be too if I found such a fine store and left my money elsewhere. Manny might know more about him. Thought he might have been friends with one or two of them. He's up in the dino mouth during the day. Alright, what do you sell here? A fellow enthusiast. Oh crap, I accidentally... Oh, okay, good. We don't actually Welcome get back. stuck Can I get in you anything? I'm here to sell stuff. Well, there's T-Rex figurine. We also have an assortment of the... What about supplies, like guns? Do you sell those? Guns? I, uh, well... Yeah, I guess I might have a few. Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rexes. Alright, let's buy the actual useful sure thing. stuff. Have a look. First recon Burnett. Let's sell it. I don't really need it. Carton cigarettes. I'll keep the machete just in case. I can probably sell this. Flamer fuel I can definitely sell. Energy cells I'm gonna sell. Definitely can sell a bunch of DNT. I mean dynamite. We can get like we can get like 20 gauge. That's useful. Some more ammo. Alright, 
There we go. Come back soon. Let's wait for the other guy to make it to his shift. There he is. What's going on, man? I'm looking for a man in a checkered suit. Sure, I know him. What do you want with him? I have a score to settle. Actually, he has something of mine. You talking about that chip? Man, I don't think he's giving it up. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. What do you need? Novak? It's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They don't have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site, but a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. Well, what needs to be done? Well, they gotta go, or this will be a ghost town before long. It doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. Okay, I'll see what can be done about it. It'd mean a lot to me. Alright. Goodbye. Yeah, see ya. Okay, I think this is a good place to leave off. This has been Tommy Lovett, and thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.